Roger Milliken was born October 24, 1915, in New York City. After graduating from Yale University with a liberal arts degree, he went to work for Deering Milliken, a small northeastern textile company, in 1937. When his father died, Milliken succeeded him as president of the company, moving to Spartanburg, South Carolina, in 1954. At that point in our history, in the Greenville-Spartanburg area, the whole upstate, of course, we were mostly textiles. And I think everybody knew that we needed to diversify and have other industries in addition to textiles. Milliken and Company became the world's largest privately owned textile and chemical manufacturer, known worldwide for research and development. Crafted with pride, um, for him, meant that what his company produced was well-designed, well-made, um, but it went beyond that. Um, uh, it, it was a demonstration that Made in the USA was a guarantee of quality. Roger Milliken actually had a very highly developed aesthetic sense, and it, it happened um, that both architecture and landscaping were the fields that um, most captured his imagination. Any architect who ever worked with him um, knew his extraordinary eye for detail, his unbelievable perspicacity when it came to the way um, a, a structure would relate to its surroundings. I think it would be very hard for anyone for many, many years uh, to live in this area um, without being grateful to Mr. Milliken. <laughs>